Hi, it's Laura from Divine Light Yoga. Today I am sharing my number one technique on how to make your teen yoga classes easy and engaging and relevant. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so because not only does it keep you updated, but it helps other teachers and parents to find my channel and find my videos and resources. So when working with teens, specifically if it's a new class, we want to make sure that they stay engaged, that they find the class relevant and that we can connect with teenagers. Um, and so the number one thing that I would suggest in your, in your teen yoga classes is asking them what they need. So it's all very well that we go to our classes with this amazing plan. Maybe we're gonna do restorative yoga and we're gonna help them with their exam stress. But if we go into that class and actually there's something else going on with those teenagers, with that group or with the one-on-one -on -one teen that you're working with, the class kind of becomes irrelevant. And the most important thing is that we make yoga, meditation and mindfulness relevant, no matter what the age group, but especially with teens, we really do need to make it relevant to best support them so that we can give them the exact techniques that they need to go out into the world and support themselves through yoga, meditation and mindfulness. So of course, it's important to have a plan, it's important to have you know, different ideas, techniques and resources that you might use within your class. But the first thing I would do is go into the class, check in with them and ask them, what do you need from me today? So they might say something that is related to their mental state. So maybe they're feeling very tired, they're overworked, um, they're stressed with uh, their schoolwork. They might need something to take their mind off what has been going on day to day in school. So actually maybe they need a bit more of an energizing session. Um, or they might say to you that they've got something physically going on, that they've you know, got some neck pain or shoulder pain or that their body is just generally aching and tired. And that way you can give them exactly what they need and you can give them tips on how they can use these techniques and poses outside of your class. And that is really what we want. We want children and teens to be taking the yoga techniques that you teach them, all of the practices that you share with them, we want them to use them on a day-to-day -day basis so that yoga doesn't just become 45 minutes a week, but it actually becomes integrated into their day-to-day -day life. And that's why yoga isn't just a yoga practice one hour a week. It actually is life skills and it is a yoga lifestyle. Whether you wanna call it a yoga lifestyle or not, it really is fundamental life skills so that they can support their own physical, mental, social, and emotional well-being. So I would say the most important thing, and my number one tip, especially when working with teens, is to ask them what they need each time you see 